Hello my lovies and welcome back to Crazy But Not Dangerous. I'm Shorty Vaughn and we're having super easy dinner tonight. We're going to have cherry almond chicken salads. Yay, hooray. I'm hungry. It's almost dinner time. Let's get a little prep work done. Get things chilling in the refrigerator. Yay, hooray. Let's get to it. Okay, so one of the first things I want to do is toast some of these sliced almonds. Got these over at my 99 cents only store but I think they were about a buck 99. So I'm going to toast about, oh, maybe a quarter of a cup of them. I think that will be plenty. And I've got a dry skillet here, no oil. Going to turn this up to about a five. I don't really worry about toasting them very fast. What I am more concerned about is not burning them. Yeah, because they'll go just like that. Maybe just a little bit more to grow on. If I don't use them all in the chicken salad, yeah, I'm not worried about it. Because I'm going to eat them as a snack. Almonds are great. Filling, full of fiber. Yay, hooray. Can't be that. you got to be regular if you want to be happy. I have them just as much in the single layer as I can in this little skillet. Yep. And I'm not going to do any fast tosses or shimmies or what have you. Yeah, gonna use a spoon because I watch those chefs with their flips and I can't do them. Yeah, I'm not coordinated enough, but I'm not letting that stop me. While we're toasting these and I'm keeping my eagle eye out on them, we're gonna go ahead and make a little salad dressing. Okay, I've got a little mason jar here and I have a little bit, um, about one fourth cup of cherry juice. And I buy the concentrate and then I put it into a little Tupperware. And when I need a little bit of cherry juice, I just take out a couple of tablespoons full, add some water and stir until it's just right. Yay, hooray. If you had um, like a cherry jam, yeah, just as good. Put a couple of spoonfuls in there, add some water, stir. You're gonna get a similar effect. It's gonna be just fine. And I like to make little salad dressings in a mason jar because you know, I can make it ahead, pop it in the refrigerator, put a secure lid on it right before I'm ready to serve, give it a little shaky shake, and then we're in like Flynn, baby. So yeah, you don't have to have food processor or blender or anything like that. It'll be all right. So about one fourth cup of cherry juice, about two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. Don't cut balsamic, use what you got. It'll be okay. I have one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. You don't have Dijon, you don't like it. You're not spending the money on something that you only use once in a while. Use whatever mustard you got. It'll be okay. Right in there. I have one tablespoon of olive oil or canola oil, salad oil coconut oil. I don't think it really matters. Whatever you like. And then I have two and one half tablespoons. I know that's a lot um, of white granulated sugar. I'm going to go ahead and put the lid on this. I'm going to notch that down so it is very secure because I do not want to clean my ceiling today. Yeah. It might need it, but yeah, today's not the day for it. Give that a shake. Let's take a look at our almonds. Just toss those around. Oh yeah, we just want a little tiny bit of color. And you will know when they are done because it will smell amazing. Not quite there yet. It will smell amazing. And then you'll also know if you've burned them because it won't smell so amazing true story. All right, let's taste our salad dressing and see what it needs. I'm guessing a little salt, a little pepper, but we'll see. Oh, that's nice. Now, I was really kind of concerned that <coughs> Sorry, that vinegar got me a little bit. Um, I was really kind of concerned that 
that was a lot of sugar but it's not it's lovely and that tang from that balsamic yeah that's going to be really good so if I add a little bit of salt a little bit of pepper yay hooray okay there they go they're done my nuts are all toasty and delicious with just a little bit of color yep just right set those off to the side there turn off my burner didn't even take five minutes four minutes and 44 seconds there we go they are all done yep delicious Hot those are good all right now we're going to taste again make sure i've added enough salt enough pepper perfect yay great all right i'm going to put the lid on this and go ahead and get this back in the refrigerator and i'll just give it you know a shaky shake right before i dress the salads and i might have a little bit left over for something else in the week that's not a bad thing i can live with that this morning i roasted my one pound chicken breast that i had taken out to saw and got that all cooked up I'm gonna go ahead and just add that to my bowl and then i have about two stalks of celery and i'm just gonna slice this right down the middle more or less there we go and then just give these a little chippy chop you guys doing okay today if you doing anything fun or exciting tell me down below nothing really fun or exciting going on here pretty much the same old same old let me tell you but we only have one more day scheduled of 110 degrees plus on saturday yeah it's going to be 112 but today i woke up it was 75 degrees outside it was well it was four o'clock in the morning but yeah it was 75 degrees outside i got some things done out in the yard and just enjoyed my coffee and you know some birds and all the all the good things so it was nice yeah just kind of a relaxing tuesday i'm going to go ahead and put my celery right in there got a runner all right now let's go ahead and add some things to this chicken salad looks good so far and i've left my chicken in fairly decent chunks got some mayonnaise I'm gonna add Oh, about half a cup. That's just fine. And we're going to need a little bit of mustard. Maybe a little spicy brown. Yeah, I'm feeling a little spicy. And that's maybe a teaspoon. I'm going to go ahead and add some of the parsley. Got that the other day. My Jacques Pepin cassoulet dish boy that was tasty let me tell you we enjoyed that for dinner and it was even better for lunch just going to give this a rough little chippity chop here we go throw it right on in there all right just going to give this a little stir up get it all together get it all happy looks terrific already let's go ahead and incorporate about half of my toasted almonds yeah all toasty and delicious yay great i'm going to put about half of those in there and then i'm going to reserve the other half for later that'll be just fine other herbs you could add to this tarragon would be delicious you could add dill you could add a little chervil you know whatever you got you got no herbs at all well don't worry about it no celery use some celery seed dried parsley i'm okay with it bring it on treat yourself you don't have you know almonds but you have walnuts yep pecans or pecans depending on where you're from yeah have at it 
Go for it. Treat yourself. Have some dried cherries here. And I'm going to add oh, about a third of a cup. That looks good to me. You can always add more, but I am not putting them away yet because that's going to be one of the garnishes for our salad. Now this is a very chunky chicken salad. I'm okay with that. That's kind of what I was looking for. Chunks and big hearty pieces of chicken and some nice creamy mayonnaise. You could use sour cream. You could use Greek yogurt. Whatever you want to use. Whatever rocks your boat. I just love the mayonnaise. It is my favorite condiment. Do you have a favorite condiment? Yeah. Inquiry and minds want to know. What's your favorite condiment? Yay, hooray. Okay, so I'm going to pop this in the refrigerator because I do want it to stay nice and cool for our salads. And then we're going to go ahead and assemble the rest of the salad, get everything together. It's going to be terrific. I'm super hungry. Yay, hooray. I'm also going to slice some of these green grapes in half. Now, the recipe called for red. But when I was at the grocery store, the red grapes, they were terrible. They were so smushy and kind of weaselly. Yeah, they were, they were not good. So, you know, I'm not running all over town looking for red grapes. The green grapes were fantastic. These are crisp. They've got a nice little snap to them. And, you know, they're pretty, they're pretty plump and juicy. I like them. So, it's not the right color grape but I'm not concerned about it because it will have a similar experience. They taste very similar. And if you are not storing your fruit in mason jars, you are missing out because this really does work. These grapes are almost a week old and they are still firm and look terrific. Yay, hooray. I gotta go find a knife. See, that's what happens is that I clean up after myself as I go along. And sometimes, you know, yeah, just lose, lose my knife. Found it. We're good to go. Now, this is kind of a tedious little task, but it does, in my opinion, um, make for the easiest eating. And then, you know, have a little bit of a grape in every bite. Won't hurt a bit. And this is just going to take a second. No worries. And I think that's going to be plenty of grapes for our two salads. All right. So we've got our almonds and we've got our dried cherries and we have some grapes that I set uh, sliced in half and we're almost there. It is almost dinner time. Hot diggity. Yeah. And the new season of Jeopardy starts in just a few days. Yeah. Like in like five days. We'll have a brand new season of Jeopardy, and I am just beside myself. We've been watching the reruns and, you know, having a good time, but I'm ready. I'm ready for the new season. Yay, hooray. So I asked Andrew last night, you know, gun to your head, man. You've got to go on Jeopardy or Wheel of Fortune. Which one are you going on? He picked Wheel of Fortune. I'm thinking, baby, you go do way better at, at Jeopardy, but... Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. I, yeah, I just think he wants to get close to Pat and Vanna. Oh, did you hear that this is Pat C. Jack's last year on Wheel of Fortune? That it's going to be Ryan Seacrest as the host. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where that's going. But this is Pat's final year. God bless him, like 40 years. That's dedication. I appreciate, you know, all the many wonderful years of watching, but Ryan Seacrest. I don't know. Maybe it'll be fabulous. I'll give it a whirl. The best thing about making your own salad dressing is that it's yours. Yeah. You like it a little bit more tart? Put a squeeze of lemon juice in it. Some more mustard. Less sugar. Less salt. Make it le less sodium. Yeah. It's yours, baby. You can do with it whatever you want. You have my permission. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get some romaine all cut up here. 
and we do love salads for dinner um, especially since like last night we had the cassoulet with the hot dogs and it was a little bit you know on the saltier side so this is just a little break you know from so much sodium a little bit lighter and i kind of like to stagger my meals that way you know something heavier and then the next day maybe something a little bit lighter and there we go all chopped up gonna throw these into my salad spinner get them all spun up and clean and nice and then we'll come back and assemble our salads super excited about it yay hooray all lovely and clean can't beat that with a stick and i'll put about half in mine and about half in andrew's there we go i also have this garden salad kit now i like these because it's the iceberg lettuce it's the red cabbage it's the carrots so it adds a little extra veg a little extra volume and though I don't think that iceberg lettuce is especially nutritious, I do think that it tastes good. And I also think that it has good water content. And here in the desert, we need all the hydration that we can get. And these are already kind of pre-prepared and everything included. And then I don't have to chop a cabbage. I, you know, because I'm a little bit lazy and these are also a decent value a lot of times with if I have one reward item um, from Albertsons this is something that I can prepare or can get with one reward this one it's not chunked very well that's the downside of it last time I had like six cores and this time well it's just not chunked very well we'll live it'll be okay going to make a hole in the middle of each one. Just like that. Just a little hole right in the middle. Got my chicken salad out of the refrigerator and it looks super good. I'm excited about it. If you have prepared this in advance and it looks a little bit dry, you can add a little more mayonnaise or you can add just a touch of milk to go ahead and rehydrate that chicken salad just a little bit. And I am going to put in a pretty decent pile right there in the middle. And I like to put my wetter ingredients either in the middle in a hole or around the outer edge so that my salad doesn't get soggy. Um, especially if I'm making it, you know, 15, 20, 30 minutes before we're actually going to eat. Um, that way it's still crunchy and delicious and my lettuce is not too wet. There we go. And there's not quite enough left for lunch tomorrow. So I'm going to go ahead and add all of the chicken salad to these delicious salads. Plenty of crunch in there with that, with that celery. That's, for me, so satisfying, especially since we're trying to cut back. And so no croutons today, but that crunch from that celery is going to be super satisfying. Yummo. I have some more of my dried cherries. And you could absolutely do this same dish with cranberries. If you don't have cherries, by all means, treat yourself. Strawberries would be great too. I wouldn't complain about it one bit. Plenty of little dried cherries in here. I found cherries over at my Dollar Tree and dehydrated them and so yep we're just we're just enjoying them because they were a bargain and they make a great little snack kind of sad you know cherry season's over but 
like, you know, pumpkin spice and everything nice. It's right around, yeah, it's already out. My, yeah, everything at my Albertsons right now is pumpkin spice. Do you like pumpkin spice? Tell me down below. Yep, we can get behind it. Got my toasted almonds. Yay, hooray. I'm just going to go ahead and put those right on there. Maybe a few extra, because why not? Okay, let's go ahead and add some of our sliced grapes, too. And certainly I can see why red grapes would be a little bit more appealing on the plate. But honestly, I'm going to do what I have to do with what I've got and be grateful for it. And when it comes down to time to eat this, it's not going to matter one whit whether they're red or they're green grapes. I think that looks amazing. I am super hungry and thrilled about this dinner. I'm going to take the cherry balsamic vinaigrette and I'm just going to go ahead and sprinkle that right around the outer edge. Then I'll have a little bit of the tangy balsamic. I'll take a little bit of the creamy chicken salad and that should be just the perfect bite with that crunch and the fruit and the nuts. Hot diggity. I'm ready for dinner. Anyhow, I think this is a great little meal. I'm going to go ahead and get these chilling. We're also going to have a um, toasted flatbread. We're going to share this. And that is going to be our dinner tonight. I'm not mad at that one bit. Think that that looks tasty and delicious. Yay, hooray. All right, my lovelies, be good, be careful, look both ways. See you next time. Thanks for watching Crazy But Not Dangerous.